Hi guys, welcome back again. It's been a while since my last video, but I thought let's make some videos again about power apps because I learned some stuff lately. So today I'm not gonna make a new video. I'm basically gonna revisit an old video I make about how to make an application like a browser for your customer. And we are gonna use Chrome, but they changed a little bit uh, some things in Chrome. so. I had to figure out how to do it now and I thought let's show you so you can give your customers a nice easy to use application like Windows with power apps uh, if you want to. So let's go to our uh, screen and here I have an app I make for another customer which basically make tasks for several projects and registration time uh, on several levels. But that's not the point. It's now the point to make this an application wise video. And you see this is all Dutch because my customers are Dutch um, for most part. So uh, let's make a tool. So we go to the right of our screen and go to more tools and then say we create a shortcut. And it's not different than the last video I make. It's basically the same till now. But here you see you don't have a checkbox to make a window like application like you used to have. So let's create this shortcut because that we have to do and then go to another tab. And here we can go to apps and if you don't have apps you can also do Chrome, uh, double points uh, and then apps oh, like this apps and then you can go to the apps. And here we see the apps already for the demo app. And you see I have more apps for one for YouTube, one for a, uh, a radio station site in the Netherlands. And you see, okay, I have my radio. So when I want to have music, I have, a, have an app and I don't click it away. And I don't have to choose because of between all the tabs to see, oh, what was my video player? Where is my application, etc. So I really like this feature. And then when we go to our app and we go to the uh, right uh, click of our mouse, then we can choose open as window. And now we see it checked. And then we can go to create shortcut. And here we see the, uh, the desktop. Normally this is uh, selected, but I don't like the desktop. So I deselect it and it's gonna remember that for you for the next time. And then we're gonna create a application. Now we can go to the start menu and here we have the application we just added. We also can say we don't want to have a shortcut on the start menu and basically they kind of be uh, here also. And then you can do the right click and go to add to taskbar. And you see this is Dutch. I don't know why because normally I work in English language but I think with an update it changed but we have to add the shortcut to the taskbar and then here we see a nice uh, purple button for power app so this is better than the uh, the last uh, shortcut but that was black and you couldn't see it and then you have to have a uh, you have to build an own icon for your shortcut so now it's a nice power app shortcut. We can click it and we are gonna open our app. And normally it's gonna open the first time like this, but you can shape it. When you shape it like uh, so, it's gonna always remember this and always open in this form, like you see in the uh, radio shortcut. But this we're gonna make big, then we're gonna close it. And when we open it again, it's going to remember the size and it's going to be uh, totally filled on our screen. Oh, and I, I really like this because then the customer really have an application. Uh, it's going to open like an application like they used to have uh, when you have a C sharp application or whatever uh, software you use. So till so far this short video, uh, in the next video, I'm going to look at uh, loading screens and we're going to look 
on how to enable a loading screen at start, but also between tasks. When you give Power Apps a, a task to store a record to our data source, and you know I'm using events, and um, how can we trigger it? So I hope you like this video, and I hope to see you in the next video. And uh, if you like this, please subscribe and like the video so others are able to find it. Thank you for watching.